Oh my god, what's happening to the Pillar of Autumn? You might be wondering what the heck this is. This is the Pillar of Autumn recreated within Halo of its Forge. And this would be a wild masterpiece to try to replicate. And so I saw it online. It looked amazing. And I thought it'd be worth giving it a go here. You mean have the recharge shield area right here from the game? Like... <laughs> Dude, this is straight up just combat evolved put into Halo Infinite. That is just insane. Oh, no way. They have the elites attacking the control center as well. That's hilarious. Oh, wait. We got to follow our friend here. Like, does it happen? Does the thing happen? Oh, my God. It does. <laughs> oh, that is so cool that they're able to like, recreate that exact scripting within Halo Infinite's Forge, dude. Like, Forge in this game is absolutely insane. Uh, you can even time the grenade toss properly as well. Uh, dude, like we're playing Combat Evolved with just better graphics is what we're doing right here. Honestly, this is better graphics than what we got for the anniversary. Oh, no. And even... The, oh, no way. You could do that with the elites as well. You can like program them to not attack at a time when you look at them. Like I'm a Forge noob. So when I see stuff like that, my mind is just completely blown. out. like, yeah, you basically have a dev tool within this game like as soon as you walk over to areas the doors close and stuff like that like it's honestly i bet you the developers of combat evolved were wishing that they had halo fitness forge to recreate this all right captain keys will you be willing to give me your psychic and will give a loaded son. Never thought I'd get to see a halo ring up close and personal. Neither did I, but you know what? They forged that as well. <laughs> I do love how you get a little Cortana plushie for like this pedestal right there. That's amazing. But yeah, maybe if I just kind of walk back, maybe it, it hit like a trigger of something to give me a weapon. Well, there we go. Yeah, they're okay. Oh, and he gave me basically the CE replica pistol that we've seen programmed in previous mods. Give me the same vibe as using the CE pistol being a three shot kill. Oh, and now we picked up an assault rifle automatically as well. And you know, I had to go with the original CE model. And is an 80 round mag on this? No way. Eat your heart out, CE assault rifle. Just hold the trigger down. Yeah, buddy. Love how they slowed the reload animation down as well for this. You know, those exact feels you so require when it comes to playing Combat Evolve. How is it that Forges were able to make a more accurate recreation of CE's campaign in the anniversary version? Like, honestly. Like, CE Anniversary, like, while it did have great additions made to it, it definitely left a lot to be desired when it comes to the art style. Like, honestly, like, it kind of changed the art style a lot, which I didn't really agree with and from what i heard that they were actually looking to do a lot more when it comes to the visual changes of ce to where it would just be wildly different than what we formerly know of combat evolves campaign now previously i did see a modification to the assault rifle to mimic ce with where they use the sentinel beam to kind of mimic the damage which looks like that's what they did where it kind of has the same kind of ammo capacity but it also kind of deals a proper type of damage and you can see the effect of shooting a sentinel beam within the weapon right like if you kind of blow stuff up or kill there but they usually they disintegrate like that not exactly a ce assault rifle type of experience but mimics the same type similar type of damage so i'm all for that forward some more stick him with that grenade save a little bit of ammo oh my gosh dude this is <laughs> There's no overshields in here. Apparently, I saw a video of the creators who walk, did a walkthrough of it that said that it was apparently bugged when it comes to overshield usage within Halo Infinite's Forge mode. So, hopefully, they, uh, they can fix that when it comes to this update. Either the Forges can help try to make things a little bit better, or that the, the 343 could try to make things a little bit more consistent. But, again, we just have to wait and see. I'm sorry, this is like a really minor detail, but did you see that gas right here that just kind of pops out? Like, that minor detail just helps kind of create this little bit of atmosphere within the level. I know this section very well. Of course, we point at any section of Combat Evolves campaign. I know it very well. 
Let's see if they modified the rate of fire here. Like if I can just try to shoot as fast as possible. This is me clicking like a madman right now. So they definitely lowered the fire rate of it. Trying to mimic that CE pistol feel. While it doesn't exactly sound the same, it actually plays very similar. I bet you since the like poly count is so low on the original CE levels that they're able to recreate CE missions very effectively when it comes to Halo Infinite's Forge mode. What are you doing? Get out of here! Back it up! We recently saw that with the assault in the control room. They recreated the first and second half of that mission. And the fact that a mission at that size is able to be recreated within this game is just crazy. Now I'm sure I'll inevitably get the comments within this video telling like, well, why don't you just play the regular campaign instead of playing this weird like Halo Infinite modified version? Like, well, I've played that regular campaign a million times and so seeing it play within Halo Infinite we're having this cool new fidelity. And also I just want to see how they were able to recreate this entire thing within Halo Infinite's campaign because like this right here, very cinematic moments that happen within the campaign and to see they, they put the detail into to try to recreate. Oh my God, this is the part of the mission we have to walk through these doorways right here. Do I just need to like walk up to it? I mean, it's a green arrow so I figured you just kind of walk to it but it doesn't really open maybe we go from the other side uh if i just walk up to it there we go okay for some reason this side opens up but not the other one so this i wanted to kind of do a little bit of a shorthand to kind of just force you down a specific direction I, it does seem like they actually did go through all the detail of trying to put it in correctly if can i shoot through this oh no i can't i wonder what kind of artistic liberties they had to make when it comes to recreating this mission because honestly this feels like i'm playing the pillar of autumn now, I don't remember the level like per polygon of how it actually plays out, but this is effectively playing the pillar bottom in Halo Infinite. But just some speedrunners could probably figure that out. We'd be like, no, it's supposed to be a left turn, not a right turn at the situation. And for me, I'm like, well, you know what? It still captures the feels, which is the most important part. Oh my God, they were able to recreate the Spartan hologram on this. That's amazing. Dude, like, look at the like the detail that they went into this entire map is just crazy. But this is literally like, if you wanted to play C, Pillar of Autumn, but then also want to have like the new updates of gameplay with some of the new aspects of the sandbox and things like that. Also just graphic fidelity as well, like being able to play in like, 1440p, 1080p, 4K, even if your graphics card can handle it. Take some pain! Yeah! No, I got whacked! Oh, wow, you're only allowed 15 lives on this. If you die more than that, you're just done. You're cooked. I'm also playing this on medium difficulty, and it's really, like, not that easy. I was about to say, this is harder than regular normal difficulty. Dude, it'd be sweet if they could find a way to make this into matchmaking. This have like a four player co-op campaign PVE type of playlist available for people just to jump in. And there's the end of the mission right there. Of course I have to go with the CE arm because well, obvious reasons. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.